Alright folks, welcome back to King's Consoles. Uh, here with something a little bit different for you guys. This is going to be a start of a new series, which is focusing on toys and action figures, uh, which are based on computer game characters or series. Um, so what better way to start off the series than with Final Fantasy VII's Cloud Strife, um, as you may have guessed by the title or just the overall look of the character. If you don't know who Cloud is, then where have you been? But I do know that there's people out there that don't play RPGs and don't follow up on uh, all things computer game related. Um, Cloud is actually a character, or the main character from Final Fantasy VII, um, an RPG by Square. Uh, it was at the time, I don't think it was Square Enix back then. Um, definitely recommend having a little look if you haven't played already. It's available on PC, it was a remake version. Uh, that's most recently been put onto the PS4 in the store. I think you can generally pick up quite cheaply. And they will be soon making the PS4 remake, or I think it's going to be cross-platform, but PlayStation's certainly pushing it forward. Um, there's going to be a remake, and hopefully Square Enix do not make us wait too long, and we can get it very soon. Um, and just to also mention, guys, that if you are watching on my other channel, uh, King's Toy Chest, um, I have got another YouTube channel which focuses mainly on toys and Transformer figures. Um, welcome. Uh, do certainly have a look at both channels if you're watching on King's Consoles check out my other channel and vice versa um, I've got lots of good videos on there uh, so without further ado let's just have a little closer look at the figure um, so you can clearly see Cloud's displayed in his traditional Final Fantasy 7 uh, soldier uniform um, much as it depicted in the FMVs as I say the polygon character doesn't really it's a rough representation but looks more like the the character when it's in the full motion video sequences. Um, but of course, this is artist representation, um, which it may look like when we get the overall version of Final Fantasy for the PS4. Um, some other ways it's, it's kind of been displayed in the PSP release, Final Fantasy, uh, this is there. You can see there's Cloud there, along with some other famous Final Fantasy heroes. So he's got his um, shoulder armor and his buster blade. And I won't spoil anything of Final Fantasy story because I do understand there may be people there that haven't watched it um, or played the game, I should say. Uh, from Crisis Core, another character for Final Fantasy, Zack, has the similar soldier uniform. You see there's Cloud as well. Um, yeah, so you may come across Zack or hear about Zack when you play Final Fantasy VII or the PSP game Crisis Core, which is mainly focused on him. Um, now, accessory-wise, uh, Cloud only does come with his Buster Blade the stand and three extra hands. So it's a bit hard for you to show, but there's like a clenched fist. You just want to get angry. Uh, we have another clenched fist for his other hand. And we have the unmentionable hand, which we don't know what he gets up to with this one. Hmm, don't know, but it's a bit of a third, he's got a third hand for some reason. Um, the main hands that I've got him on just now are for holding his Buster Blade. Um, and without further ado, let's, let's get straight into looking a, a bit closer up at the figure. So let's see if we can get a good zoom on his face. Facial recognition should probably pick that up. So quite clearly you can see as a close-up that this is Cloud Strife. Um, he's looking rather feminine in his current pose. In fact, I think the general character of uh, Cloud does look Quite feminine. But then that's quite a traditional thing with Final Fantasy characters. Um, yeah, especially uh, throughout the series uh, or Japanese RPGs, they do look quite feminine. But you can see his great facial features and uh, his blue eyes, piercing blue eyes. The um, hair, traditional uh, Cloud Strife, all spiky. Does slightly move a little bit there. Um, but yeah, typically the facial features look like any representation or picture you have seen of Cloud. Um, starting with what armour he's got on, I should say. Uh, he's got his shoulder armour, which you can see is a little bit battle damaged, which is a nice touch. You can catch that in the light. Um, his landmine shoulder armour, as it kind of looks like a World War II uh, mine from there, but it just looks like it's some bolts that have been stuck onto uh, a piece of metal. And it's kind of got a similar theme on his like arm gauntlet here, which is on the end of his gloves. Um, nothing on this side of the glove. Um, you can see he's got quite thin arms, so he needs to kind of do some bench presses. He needs to go to the gym 
but I suppose he has got Barrett for that, so what's he need? Um, going back slightly again, you can see his, his legs. Uh, he's got some MC Hammer pants going on there. Can't touch this. Do, 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 do. Hammer time. Um, yeah, and he's in his big army style boots. So I don't know if it's a standard soldier uniform, but certainly he's rocking it with his, his turtleneck tank top thingy he's got. Uh, he's got his harness, which of course is made to sheath his sword. And his um, WWE wrestling belt by the looks of it, which holds up his baggy pants. But overall, I think this is an absolute perfect representation. As close as you're going to get to um, the cloud from the Final Fantasy series based on the old PlayStation 1 game. Um, what I'm going to do actually is give a bit of a size comparison so you can see how big this actual figure is. Sometimes it's a bit hard to tell on camera. So we'll start off with a little mini fig. If you can see him down there, look, he's right down there. Little tiny mini fig. And a copy of his own game, not self publicising, of course. So that's him with a copy of Final Fantasy VII. Just bring it to the front there. Final Fantasy VII. So it goes up to his waist on the, the case. We have a Nintendo Game Boy. Kind of goes up to his shoulder. So, yeah, it's a pretty sizable figure. Um, and for those of you on um, King's Toy Chest, uh, I got one especially for you guys to do a bit of comparison. That's uh, Cloud next to Metroplex. Um, now, as you kind of remember, Metroplex was one of the biggest Transformers you can get. So, even on that scale, he's giving you a good idea how put your chest away, um, how tall this actual Cloud figure is, because Metroplex certainly wasn't a small Transformer. Uh, so let's get this out of the way. Focus back on Cloud. Little Lego dude, move it away too. And let's take a look at the, the articulation because these figures, they call them action figures, but really they're for big children like myself to put on shelf and display. So we'll take them off his stand. Take that out of the way there. And we will show you what he can do. Oh yeah, take his busted blade off. I'll show you that in a second. So looking back, he has full head articulation. Move left and right. No, yeah, slight up and down. It will move a full 360, but I don't really want to spin it around and take it off. Um, no waist articulation at all, so it doesn't move the waist. Arms, as you can see by his Peter Pan pose. He's got full shoulder rotation. Uh, wrists will actually move as well. Uh, quite tight because they do pop off on the ball joint. Elbow movement and upper arm. So you can see full upper arm there. Kind of hindered a little bit by his shoulder, but he's not going to do any sort of thundercat poses with his sword, like Lino. But yeah, you can kind of pose his arm like so, about the highest it's going to go. A little bit of restriction here with his shoulder armour, um, but you can pretty much do the same pose on the other side. Yeah, how much do you bench, bro? See, he's got muscles after all. Um, legs, he's more of a kicker than he is a, a puncher by the looks of it. Uh, legs have a full motion of front. And back, so we can go and play some football or soccer. Um, yeah, so he's got a full leg movement. Um, bends at knees, actually really good at the, the top of the leg. So you see that, so it does, makes it stand really well. Um, let's say the, the shoes, even the, the soles, don't catch that. Look at the detail on the soles of the boots. He's got big feet, so he can quite easily stand there on his own. In fact, let's just see if I can do that right now. Don't make a liar of me, Cloud. Look up when I'm talking to you. So yeah, so Cloud is now the WWE champion um, of the world. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. So Cloud, you just stand back there and wait for me to look at your sword. So here is a famous Buster Blade, um, a great size. Uh, as you see, the detail on it is pretty awesome for a figure. See the kind of battle damage if I get the, the light on it. Um, so if you remember the start of the game, um, when you're at the continue or the start screen, uh, you see the Buster Blade kind of sitting there. It's always been through a few battles with this thing. Uh, I won't see any spoilers, I was just about to there, but 
we'll leave it at that and you can kind of see the top of the hilt and his big broadsword handle which makes it easier for him to hold um, but it sits quite nicely on his back through a through a peg which is here and then it just goes through one of the, one of the holes and that just sits in his back where he stands or of course now this don't make a fool in the cloud we're going to do this first time first time alright it is one of these things you figure sometimes you take a bit of posing but determined to get this through his hands and on first time if I've got the right hand on that is I'm not using his special hand now you may need to stand for this one because it all kind of changes weight and balance oh no he's standing up by himself uh, let's move that to the side like so and then you can kind of have Cloud standing there with his buster blade let's move the camera back ready to get into into some fights with the Shinra Corporation but anyway guys that's really all I've got to say about the figure I certainly would recommend if you do see one uh, out in the wild which uh, good luck if you do I'll pick one up um, in fact if you see any of the play arts figures and it's a character you really like definitely pick them up really good to articulation um, they move really well and the detail on them are absolutely amazing um, I will actually show you quickly the box it's not very spectacular a little bit damaged in the move uh, house so I see Cloud Strife number one down here Final Fantasy Play Arts as I mentioned before uh, some of the other figures so we've got Tifa which I missed out on I really wish I got her and um, Miss Gainsborough who's uh, I'm hoping she's a miss otherwise she was a cheating slut and Mr Gainsborough wouldn't be too happy um, now certainly we've got Aerith there as well uh, in all of her glory with her, her staff um, bit of a cheap out on Tifa though because obviously she's her fighting as a fist so I wonder what accessories you've got with her and of course there's Cloud we've already seen him already um, but yeah guys that's all I'm going to do for this video uh, certainly more figures will be up and coming in this series um, please certainly leave a comment of any series of figures that you like to see um, you never know I might have them um, ones I've got at the moment is like say Legend of Zelda Call of Duty um, along those lines but yeah put in the comments what figures you've got um, maybe something I may pick up myself and um, don't, obviously don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more from either of my channels so King's Toy Chest or King's Consoles and I've also got a vlogging channel as I have not got enough channels already uh, which is called King Blur um, an amalgamation of my old Autobot Blur username but anyway that's enough of me rambling on uh, this is Dave from King's Consoles and King's Toy Chest saying catch you guys later and I hope you have a good one